In this video I'm gonna show you the best places in the town of Puerto Viejo in Costa Rica and also that this could be a cheaper vacation destination than anywhere in Mexico. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm here in the big town of San Jose in Costa Rica. Today I'm heading over to the Caribbean side and that's gonna be really exciting. So I'm gonna walk across the town here and into the bus station called Mepe. I was walking through the town of San Jose and into the bus station that would take me over to the Caribbean side of Costa Rica. You can fly into San Jose from different towns in the United States for just $100. The bus had cost me $10 and we were going across the country from the town of San Jose and into the east part and the Caribbean Sea. We got off the bus here and I don't have anywhere to live tonight. <laughs> so we have to figure that out where we're gonna go. But the town looks pretty cool. I'm gonna walk through the town and then find somewhere to live and tomorrow we're gonna look at the beach. The town had a Caribbean vibe and I could already hear some reggae music playing from all the bars. I ordered um, filet de pescado and rice and beans, really good. The prices were much cheaper here than in the west side of the country, I'd only paid four dollars for this fish dish. There's so many people here. I haven't seen any other town in Costa Rica with so many people. Finally, I came into a little guest house that I had found on Booking.com. Paid only um, 13 or 14 dollars per night here for this single room, right on the beach, like two minute walk from the beach. Here is a little guest house. There was also a little kitchen and fridge here. The next day. Hello everybody and good morning! It's my second day here in the town of Puerto Viejo. Yesterday I explored a bit of some restaurants in the evening but now we're gonna head down to the beach and check it out. Seems to be a really peaceful and quiet city. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. So here is one of the entrances to the beach. We're gonna now see if uh, this Caribbean water is as nice as it is in Mexico where I have spent a lot of my time in the past. It must be about 25 degrees Celsius or 80 Fahrenheit. Really, really nice temperature. The sun is shining and there's so many people swimming here. I think I might also jump in. But first we're gonna check out and see what it all looks like from above. The whole town, with just a few hundred people, is located right by the water. So no matter where you live, you will always have just a one or two minute walk down there. For just $13 in a guest house right by the beach, and with cheap food and groceries, I think it's possible to live here for around $600 per month. I traveled all over the Caribbean coast in Mexico, and there you cannot stay for this cheap, this close to the beach. This I think was a little hidden paradise that not a lot of people know about. The water was so incredible and I spent a good 15 minutes just laying out in the water. I had also seen a few ATMs and a couple of grocery stores in town. I just uh, stepped on my sunglasses unfortunately but I also wanted to say we have a real like Caribbean vibe here you see a lot of uh, Rastafaris and uh, places like this with like uh, red green and yellow like Bob Marley style there are a lot of beach bars right on the beach here <laughs> So behind here we have a really famous surf spots 
the waves look like they are about 10 feet or almost 3 meters in some areas, maybe not, but <laughs> maybe uh, 7 feet, 2 meters or so. Here we also have some bananas, really cool banana trees. We also have a cool little walk along the beach and uh, the Caribbean Sea, really nice. With some shade also so we don't get completely fried today. Now I was on my way along the landscape to explore the hundreds of untouched and secluded beaches in the area. There was also a jungle looking forest along the beaches. Such a nice little walk here along the beach and you can hear the waves, so nice. And the color of the water is much more blue here than in the Pacific side of Costa Rica. Also, I feel like it's more tropical here. So now we're coming around the corner here to the next beach called Cocles. It's also supposed to be... Um, a little cool area here and maybe a small little town also. So there's a little swing here that we're gonna try out. See if we can swing a bit. Along the way I had seen some really cool scenery and around every corner there was a new beach with not so many people. This could be a perfect getaway for somebody who does not want to pay so much money but still enjoy some really incredible beaches and water. It's cool that you have like a little jungle here in the middle of uh, the town and the beach just right here. I don't think I've seen that in many places before. This is my favorite part so far of this town. Really incredible the walk here. I really like jungle walks when it's green and uh, yeah, it's such a good vibe. Now I think I'm here at the viewpoint, so we're gonna go up. Here I am at the viewpoint. Really cool, the waves are huge here. Some of the beaches had really high waves, where I had also seen some surfers. This was just the beginning of my hike. I was about to see some really, really incredible beaches after this one. I keep like feeling something on my legs and I think it's a snake. And then I jump a bit. I hate snakes. I'm really afraid of snakes. I don't know why. <laughs> There's a huge spider here and like a huge spider web. We do not want to get stuck in this spider web here. This spider was not venomous as I had learned. But there are a few venomous spiders and snakes in Costa Rica. Almost all of them are not deadly. It was like I was in a different type of world. I had ventured off the trail a bit, but eventually came back to the beach. We are now almost out of the jungle and into this beach that I was speaking about a while ago. I kept finding more and more incredible beaches and this seemed like the perfect place for someone who wants to go off the grid for a bit. Everything was totally untouched and there seemed like there had been no humans almost anywhere. All these places I showed so far you can also get to by car or a scooter since there's a road that goes behind the beach. I went for a swim then walked back to one of the restaurants. Came back from a hike and um, I decided to get a chicken burrito here and I got this uh, some kind of uh, soda, really good. This meal had cost me also $4. I have some friends here that I met 
earlier on my trip here in Costa Rica. So we're gonna get some bicycles and uh, do a little trip out, out to one of the famous viewpoints. So we're going on the bikes for like um, maybe more than five kilometers. This road goes all along the uh, coast here. This would be the last beach of the day. There was also a really famous viewpoint here with a cave that goes through the rocks that I'm about to show you. My friend stayed on the beach and I'm on my way to explore on my own. There's supposed to be a cave here in the middle of this uh, little cliff here and uh, I'm gonna go and see if I can find the cave. Here we have people walking through the cave and into the other side, but it's, it's a little bit too much waves today. Oh. Here I was sitting in between the rocks in the middle of all the green areas. I'm back here now on the beach. We're gonna meet the other people again and hang out for a bit. Each, and we have a company from a dog also and a couple of people here. The sun had gone down so we were heading home on the bikes. There's a bit of uh, traffic to get into town here. Lots of cars coming in. That's it for today my friends, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for watching, please leave the video a thumbs up if you liked it and also let me know what you thought about it in the comment section. See you next time.